Welcome, Jenny here. Today I'm going to show you a quick shoulder neck sequence that I'm hoping you can um, just bring into your daily life. I'm sitting here uh, wearing jeans and a non-yoga shirt for a few reasons. One, because that's just what I happen to be wearing. I don't have a group class to teach today. And uh, also to show you that you don't necessarily need to go change into a pair of hundred dollar pants just to sit here and participate or to eventually participate in this sequence. Um, I'm hoping that you'll do it at work if that's when you have a little moment and um, whatever whatever time during the day that you can squeeze this in. For some of you, um, you're on mat leave. For some of you, you're pregnant. For some of you, you won't have any babies and that's just fine. Any of these postures that we're going to do are going to be perfectly safe and comfortable for everybody and you just work at your comfort zone. So. I'm sitting comfortably on a cushion. You don't need, again, a meditation cushion in order to be able to participate. Just happens to be what I'm sitting on. Um, I don't even have a yoga mat. Uh, one, because I don't know where I put it, but two, because um, you just can do it anywhere. And that's my hope that you will do it anywhere. So we'll start by letting go, exhaling a few times through the mouth and you can close your eyes here. It's not much to watch. Inhaling through the nose and just sigh everything out. And find a little bit of stillness. This is the moment in your day where you find some quiet, find some stillness. Feel the lower half of your body grounding into the support, whether it's the floor, or you're sitting on a pillow or a chair, wherever you are. Feeling supported by the earth beneath you. Long spine, crown of the head coming up to the sky. And not a forced posture. Don't force yourself to sit up straight. Let it be comfortable. Let it be something that you can breathe properly in, breathe naturally, and start to feel the breath flow in and out just as it is. Nothing to change. Good. You can stay here with your eyes closed if that's comfortable for you, or you can open them. On an inhale, take your shoulders, shrug them, shrug everything out towards your ears, and with an exhale, again, inhale, and a third time, shrug everything up, and even clench in the muscles here, and let completely. We'll take the right ear over toward the right shoulder, nice and slowly. So never taking for granted um, these postures, these movements, these stretches. Slowly moving from one shoulder to the other. And there's so much sensation here. So not taking for granted these simple movements. They are simple, but there's so much to feel here, and this is why I like to close my eyes. If I close the eyes as I roll the head in half circles from shoulder to shoulder, there's so much to feel. Noticing here how everything is connected and noticing how these very subtle, seemingly simple movements can actually do quite a bit. One of those reasons is because we know Slow down, we're sitting, we're connecting our movements with the natural breath as it is, as it flows in and out. Gonna eventually take the head back to center. And simply roll the shoulders back and shoulder blades down. I do this a couple of times. especially focusing on the opening, not the hunching over. You don't need as much of this. Roll back. We'll add the arms to it now. Hands come to the shoulders. Bring your elbows towards each other. Maybe they'll touch, maybe they won't, towards each other. See what's happening between the shoulder blades as you inhale, reaching up like they wanna come and pass your ears and open up through the chest. Good. Exhale. Here you can round the back. It's a little bit like a cat cow if you want it to be. 
important to just move in a way that makes sense for you. You can even open the heart, open the chin, the throat. And if you're sitting on the edge of whatever your support is, this can become, this can become more movement for the spine, for rocking a little bit of the pelvis. Not a wrong way to do this if you're listening to your body. Big circles feel what's happening in the socket, shoulder, ball rolling in the socket. Again, lots to feel here if you take the time to do it slowly. And the eyes closed, really noticing that. You could come around in the other direction, or we can just go simply chest open, inhale here, and exhale. So a spinal twist, inhaling center, and exhale. And you might have seen this done in Kundalini Yoga quite rapidly. I'm not going to do that today, maybe for another day. Just nice, slow, with the breath from one side to the other. And even though in prenatal yoga, we're not supposed to twist, we're supposed to do closed twist. This is a nice open twist. If I had a baby, baby would not be squished here in this movement, just moving through the chest, the spine. Very good. Inhale, open the arms up nice and wide. On the exhale, bring your left arm. I'm like a mirror image here, I think. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> we'll bring left under right and bring your hands together and press forward and lift. So the arms come up higher. So eagle arms, inhaling up and exhaling down. And we're looking for space between the shoulder blades as you inhale, come up. And as you exhale down, and I'm just turning so you can see kind of the angle that I'm at. It doesn't have to be the exact same as what I'm doing, but I'd like to really separate between the shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale. So it could be three times, five times. Good. Inhale, open, exaggerate, open out through the heart. Now do the opposite, left over right. And crossing here, if this is not happening, it's fine. Why don't you grab onto your shoulders instead? So either option is good, eagle arms or modification. Inhaling to lift. And exhale down. So this is a little sequence, a little enchaînement of postures. And you could do just one. Let's try to do the same thing on both sides. And then close your eyes. It's really amazing how just a few of these intentional movements really make a big difference. Good, exhale, come back. I'm gonna reach the arms around the body, interlace the fingers here, bring the shoulder blades together and open through the heart. If it's possible, your hands are glued-ish together. Maybe they're like this. Just kind of decide which one they are. Shoulder blades down and opening through the heart. So if you are pregnant, this is the kind of equivalent of your cobra pose. There's zero pressure on the belly. An alternative to this might be to grab onto the forearms. You can kind of pull the shoulders away from your ears. Nice long neck. You could do either or both. Take one hand, so again you can treat me like a mirror, one hand down to the ground. Inhale, arm up, and exhale, stretch the side body, stretch between the fingers. And think of a long line with the arms, you don't have to come too far over, just think of lengthening through this whole side here. So this is if obviously you are sitting on the floor or you could have your hand on your, on your chair. Inhale up. And exhale the other side. And inhale up. Very good. I don't know how many examples we did. Just, um, I feel really great in my shoulders. I really needed that. And I hope that if you need it, that you give it a shot too. Um, this was a demand special. Somebody had asked for a little uh, series for shoulders and neck. 
on this channel and if you have a suggestion if you have something that you'd like for me to record please give me a shout at jenny at jenny b yoga j-e-n-n-y b-e-e -E yoga.com um, and if i don't see you in person soon see you next time you watch a video <laughs> namaste